What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Ninja's Garage, and guess what we have today? I thought of an experiment that I want to do, okay? So, I haven't seen any videos on this on, on YouTube yet, so I'm going to give this a shot. Hopefully, I can be as scientific as I possibly can be, and hopefully, I, well, hopefully this results in me figuring out a way to alleviate the problem that most WRX and STI owners have, which is engine bay heat. So, my plan is to do a couple of mods, well, really three mods, and I'm going to see if I can basically see if I can reduce engine bay heat and try and have an accurate way of trying to figure out how to do so. So, it's early in the morning, y'all. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this, this is unboxing of what I have, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do. Right. GoPro Star Review. So let's see what we got in the box here. So I'm pretty sure we shall see what I have in the box here. Now I kind of see where I'm going. Maybe some of y'all will, maybe not, you know. If not, it doesn't matter because I'm going to tell you what's going on. All right, so let's take this out. Throw that over to the side. And we have Grim Speed Fender Shrouds. Now, everything I'm using in here for this little test, it will be linked in the description. Let me see what else we got here. They, man, they package this stuff really good. And then we got another sticker, baby. I might wind up putting this on the other side, then. No. Anyway, and on the other side of the car. So anyway, let's put it to the side. Alright, so let's take these out of the bottom. plastic here. There's one fender shroud. And here's the other. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to use, what I have here, is I have these. So, uh, three thermometers. So, basically, Lisa's going to take the temperature and they're going to uh, check the humidity. So, right now, it's saying it's 69.9 degrees Fahrenheit in here. We're in 68% humidity, and that's just well in my garage right now. So, we got our alcohol, a rag to wipe. And, well, I don't need these scissors anymore. I just use that to uh, what I wind up doing with this thing. Hopefully, these things don't fall off or nothing like that, but I put some double sided tape on the back of these. See if I can secure them down. So let's make our way on over to the ooh. All right, we got our fender shrouds here. All right, so plans. So I was thinking uh, I'm gonna put, locate these things in three different spots. I'm gonna put one of the thermometers right here. I'm gonna put one back there on the on the firewall back there, and I'm gonna put another one right here. That way, then I got this whole quadrant because what you're worried about heat-wise is heat around your intercooler, and your, your intercooler getting heat soaked. So now, now I know I said I was gonna do this mod right. So this is this fender shroud. You know, it's got the it's got the holes in it. So that's gonna lead me to my next modification that I'm gonna do to the car, which is going to be a mod to um, make these functional so let's go ahead and let's get into uh, getting these things installed so what you got to do the only thing that's holding the, uh, the ones from the factory which are pretty much useless and they get dirty pretty quick you want to uh, just two pop clips right here so you just pop this thing out right here and then pop this one out right here on the side okay once you get those out, you want to just bring it on out of here, twist it, and then twist it back forward, and then work this thing out of there. And there we go, it's out of there. So let's uh, we'll put that right there for right now. Uh, Nightlife. <laughs> 
Buzz it on that beat. Oh. Oh. It's a young man's game. I get that, you know. I just gotta speak a young man's. It's not a fender shroud. Let's figure out which one is which. Okay, I guess and this one goes on this side. So all it's going to take to put this in, we're going to pretty much be going right back where it came from. No, we got to go right here. Or do we got to go right there? Oh, we got to go behind here. And then put this down right there, the way then those holes line up right there. You got one hole here and one right here. So we're gonna wind up doing is using those same pop clips that we just took out. I'm gonna put this one right here. Put that one in. Now I'm curious if this is gonna start making any like little vibration noise. So let's get this one in right here. Man, it's kind of loose. I can see this thing vibrating a little bit. Hmm. See if I can find something to kind of cushion that so we don't have that problem. All right. So, like I said, that thing moved a little bit too much, and I was worried about it making some sound. So I came up with an idea. So it'd be nice if they had some like little cushions on here already, but they don't. So let's just let's go with my little my little fix for this. So. I figure we get some double-sided tape. We're going to stick it to the bottom right here. Stick that right there to give it some cushion and something to keep it to where it's fastened on there pretty tight. Language. So, <laughs> here we go. Tent city click, tent, tent city click, tent city click, tent, tent city click, tent city click, tent, tent city click. Out the house for a minute. Right here on top of this, we got one here. We got one here to kind of cushion it, something for it to be braced on. So we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in here like that. And first, we need to get past that little point there. There we go. And then the pop clip. This thing in and fasten them on there. And, and there we go. So now it doesn't move. And if there's any vibration, that ought to catch it. So now we gotta need to we need to put our need to put our thermometers in here now. So now let's get up in here and prepare the surface for a double-sided tape here. Oh, yeah. All right, we got some alcohol there. Let's get something back here on this firewall. Almost thinking I should go right here. Let's wave it all off. Yeah, right here. There we go. And then, let's go right here. All right, so let's get our first one up here. We're gonna put this one right here. Put him right there. Shouldn't affect anything. This should be out of the way right here. And then we're gonna put this one right back here. All right, so there we go. So hopefully this works out. All right, y'all, so I'm <clears throat> trying to get a baseline here. So right now, 
I went on a, uh, I say a spirited drive and uh, take a look at the temperatures that we got here so far. I think today is like, it's been like 73 degrees, so it's in the morning. So let's take a look at this. All right, this is on the driver's side. So it's 86 degrees in here. And down there, 43% humidity and it's 87.9 degrees down there. And right here we got, it's 45 degrees humidity and 82 degrees. What is it, 82? No, 85.2 degrees on the draw on the passenger side. So right now it's not that hot of a day today, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm gonna give it another run as it warms up today, and I'll see what it does then. All right, y'all. So it's about 82 degrees outside, right? And this is my intake air temperature. So I'm still riding around right now. I've been on about about I've been on a about a 50 a little over 50 mile ride. So whenever I whenever I stop, I'm gonna uh, see what the temperatures look like on the thermometers underneath the hood and see what we're looking like. All right, now y'all, let's take a look at these temperatures. All right, let's see, we're on the driver's side. So on the driver's side, 30, 33 degree humidity, 95.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And on the back firewall, we got 96.9 degrees and 95.1 on the passenger side strut tower. All right, y'all. Right. So today was a little bit more of a hotter day. So this is what we got on the driver's side, 23 humidity, but 108 degrees. And then let's go over here to the passenger side thermometer. See what we got over here. We got 105 degrees over here. And in the back here on the firewall, same thing, 105, but it's 105.8. So, you know, today around this time, it's about 80, 85, 86 degrees out. So that's the temperature under the hood. So let's just get ready for the, uh, the next video. So. Well, everybody, well, hopefully, my whole little, uh, my little plan here, I hope it all works out for me. So, like I said, if we're successful and lucky with this, well, reduce engine bay heat, and then y'all have stuff y'all can get out there to keep the margin cars with, and you'll know that you'll get a little bit of, of a decrease in engine bay heat there with, and you don't have any heat soak on your intercooler, you get better performance. So hopefully this works out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cross your fingers, man. This work out, and hopefully none of these thermometers actually fall out. If they do, I got one spare, but I'm just gonna ride on them like this for a minute, and then just see what they do, and just do the supporting mods at each level of this, and then I'll update y'all with everything I find. So hey, man, if y'all like what y'all saw, man, uh, like, subscribe, man. Throw some comments in there, man. If you got any other ideas or something that I can try, or, or, or maybe a mod that you know of that can be done to help alleviate the engine bay heat problem and i give it a test since i'm on this little series of trying to reduce engine bay heat so uh make sure that you hit that bell notification so you get all up to date when i uh, put out another video and boy, see you on the next video man till next time Peace.